Welcome back. In this short lesson, we will look at how to set up uh, several additional parameters in the Serpent input file. The additional parameters can be set up by the set cards. So the keyword is set. There are a number of set cards for different purposes. One of the most important cards of this sort is the card that set up the criticality calculations. So if you want to run the criticality simulation, you need to include uh, this card. The type of the set card is specified by the second parameter. So if you want to set up criticality calculations, the second parameter in this card is the word pop, like uh, population for the neutron population. And there are a number of parameters that follow after this. The first one is the neutron batch size. So this is the number of neutrons that you want to simulate during one cycle. The next parameter is the number of active cycles. The next parameter is the number of inactive cycles. And optionally, you can also include the initial guess for the uh, multiplication factor. You don't need to include it, but you may, if you have some uh, good estimate for the multiplication factor. If you don't include any number here, then uh, Serpent will assume the initial guess for the multiplication factor is 1. In every input file, you have to include the path to the directory file. So uh, you set this path by another set card. In this case, the second parameter in this card is the keyword a slip. And after that, what follows is the path to the directory file. It is also important to set up the boundary conditions for your system. So in every input file you need to have these conditions set up and you do that by another set card. In this case the second parameter is the word BC, like boundary conditions. We have two modes for the boundary conditions. They can either be black, so that means that the neutrons are killed once they enter the outside of the system, that means the cells which are uh, marked by the keyword outside. And uh, if you want to have the black conditions, then the third parameter in this set card is number one, so you write one here. You also have the option to use the reflective boundary conditions, so the neutrons that will try to enter into the cell which is marked as outside will be reflected back into the system. So if you want to have the reflective conditions, then you write number two here. And that's all. Have a nice day.